What is the top thing that you can compute at compile time in C++? For me, it's parsing and validating formatting strings. Consider formatting several numbers into a string. For FMT library, STL formatting or even SPF, the formatting string is often a string literal, meaning a lot of stupid bugs related to invalid format or incorrect arguments counts might be eliminated even before the first run of the application by parsing and validating that string at compiled time. This video demonstrates not only how to achieve this in practice, but also a lot of key C++ features including strings as a template parameters, when to use const eval instead of const expr, fold expression for function calls, templated lambdas, and many more advanced techniques. Code discussed in this video available via the link in the suggestions. I created a function format which takes a format string as a template parameter along with a list of runtime arguments to be substituted into that format. The format string uses curly brackets as a placeholders for these parameters. At compile time, I verify that number of placeholders matches the number of arguments, the formatting string is valid. To perform compile time validation, I need the format string as a template parameter. However, C++ does not allow doing this directly. To overcome this, I created a wrapper type called format that should meet following criteria. No private data, no destructor, all members should follow the same structural conditions. This means format might contain only plain structs with basic C++ types. I marked the constructor of format as const eval instead of const expr for a simple reason. There is no need to create such an object at runtime. By using const eval, I ensure that format objects are always created at compile time, but their fields remain accessible at runtime. The core passing and validating logic is concentrated inside the formatter class. The constructor of formatter is also const eval since it should only be instantiated at compile time. The constructor calls parse format string, which takes the format string and validates it. For each found placeholder, it splits format argument into two parts, text preceding the placeholder and the remaining substring. Preceding substring is saved into m format slices under appropriate index. Remaining one is saved into format variable. If no placeholder is found, parsing is complete, and the function returns true only if m format slices is filled, otherwise it returns false indicating an invalid format. The isValid method of formatter checks whether the format is valid. This function is marked as const expr, allowing it to be called at both compile time and runtime. To ensure compile time validation, I use static assert. This prevents invalid format strings from compiling and provides a clear error message. Method format in the formatter class is neither const expert nor const eval, meaning it might be invoked only at the runtime. This means object is created and validated at compile time, the actual formatting is happened at runtime. To process arguments efficiently, I use std index sequence 4, which generates a compile time index sequence for the template parameter pack. A templated lambda, one arc, is then used to format each argument. It captures string stream by reference, it takes a single argument and its corresponding index. Using a fold expression, the lambda is called for each argument index pair. This ensures that for each placeholder, First, the preceding text is added into string stream, and only then the argument itself. At the end of this process, the remaining part of the format string is appended into the string stream. I use as the string stream for a reason. It can format basic C++ types out of the box, avoiding boilerplate code. However, if you need high performance, you might use std string or custom buffer, similar to how FMT library works. 
Even though this formatting function is relatively simple, it prevents invalid format from even compiling, making it impossible to introduce formatting bugs into the code base. By leveraging compiled time computations, we can make our C++ code safer, more reliable and more efficient.